But I know we'll meet again. Meet again. Meet again. Hi, I'm Molly from Interfilm. I think we might have interviewed Jeremy a I couple of times. I think we have. We've done, yeah, I've done Film Club a few times. Yeah, yeah. And I think I went to one of your... I went to a school as well with you guys. Oh, there we go. You know all about us then. I'm a veteran. (laughs) Yes. So, first question for you would be, the film draws on many of the traditions of the horror genre, and what is it about these elements that makes the film so scary for audiences? A lot of it is down to sound mixing and Mm -hmm. the way that you prepare a scare through the editing and like mm. we all know something's about to happen about to happen about to happen and then it happens when you don't expect it and I think that's uh, yeah that's kind of when you get the best jumps yeah, the, yeah. and one of the, the things that works really well in the first movie and in the play and um, which feeds her into our movie is that sound of the rocking chair <laughs> dun, 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 dun. yeah it's terrifying yeah it's really scary Phoebe, there's a very creepy atmosphere, like you said, throughout the whole film. And was it difficult to evoke this on set in front of a large crew? I mean, sometimes. I mean, there, there's a there's a moment that's quite near the end, and I'm sort of crouched in a corner, and I'm meant to sort of be at my pinnacle of fear. And I'm just looking out at 30 men in shorts. I'm just thinking, <laughs> it's really hard to imagine that you're not there. Um, but then sometimes we were filming in places that were naturally really spooky, like old prisons and crumbly manor houses in the cellar. And you think, some of that fear is kind of real. I'm not having to evoke that much. Leading on from that, can either of you give me any tips for acting scared? It's Heavy exhausting. breathing's a classic. Heavy breathing's a classic, yeah. yeah. I almost hype, like, it gave me such a dizzy head. It's a bit of running around, ADR. get your heart beat up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, before Getting a spritz you down with a bit of water, make you look sweaty. Yeah, that's always good. A bit of Vaseline on your mm, forehead. Bit of shaking. Um, yeah. yeah. Phoebe, did you take any inspiration from any classic horror films in your performance? The director, Tom, recommended that I watch some horror films led by women because he said, actually, you need to pitch it a lot bigger than you'd think. The performance has to be quite big because if you don't look terrified, then the audience won't. So um, he did a screening of Rosemary's Baby, so I watched that. Mm. And um, I watched the others as well, um, just to see how those women negotiated that terror whilst also not hamming it up. The film ending suggests that there could be a Woman in Black 3. I've got some props with me and I'd like your opinions on which one you think could be the most important for this. Brilliant. So we'll go for it. So I've got (laughs) Creepy Hand. Creepy Hand. It was in this film coming out of the ceiling on shoulders. Yep. Yes. Okay. Very creepy. So that could be a contender. Right. So maybe a slightly more sinister version. (laughs) Final one. And you did actually touch on this. So Rocking Chair. Always know the women black's around. I associate the, the women in black going. with the rocking chair. I can barely yeah. even sit in rocking chairs anymore. Yeah, like the rocking chair. That could be a good one. Mm. Thank you for talking to us. It's Thank been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Close your eyes. This isn't real. <laughs> Don't look. This isn't real. <laughs>